This is Consul, the educated monkey. The name is a misnomer because the picture shows a chimpanzee and that's an ape, not a monkey. But it was named after a real animal. Consul was a chimpanzee that was shown in various theatres and variety shows in the 1900s, 1910s. He started in the UK and in 1909 he travelled across the ocean to the US to do a tour there. That Atlantic Crossing was filmed and uh, this short film was also shown all around the country. In 1910, Consul visited the factory of NCR in Dayton, Ohio, National Cash Register. One of NCR's employees, William H. Robertson, uh, designed this mathematical toy. William Robertson probably wasn't present when Consul visited the NCR factory because Robertson joined NCR the year after. Nevertheless, he probably heard about it, about the visit, and named his toy after the animal. William Robertson co-founded a separate company, the Educational Novelty Company, to manufacture this uh, toy. And it was in production from around 19... 16 until the early 1920s. This is a replica. It was made in 2012. It has a small year printed up here in the corner. This toy is made from metal and it has a clever mechanical linkage. When the feet are pointing at two numbers, the arms and the hands point to the product of those two numbers. And as you move the feet, the hands move because these uh, legs and upper arms form one piece. And as that uh, rotates, it hinges these four arms to point to the right number. So three times nine is 27. The feet cannot point to the same number because they can't be brought together that closely. So that's why at the end here is a square. And that means if you put one foot on that, that the other digit is squared, so multiplied by itself. So three squared is nine. On the back it has a a stand that you can flip out so that you can stand it up. The original uh, console also had an extra uh, piece of cardboard that you could put behind, behind here to replace this lookup table so that it did addition instead of uh, multiplication. This linkage relies on the fact that several distances are the same. I'll show you that the, the leg piece has three pivots, one at the foot, one here at the bow tie, and one here at the elbow. So, in effect, it forms one uh, fixed triangle. And these two sides of that triangle are the same length. It's an isosceles triangle. And the length of the forearm is the same as well. And because of that, the lookup table is a, a triangle, you know, it has straight sides, and in fact it's similar in shape to this triangle. You know, I can put the, this triangle at the uh, feet 
and then the tip is exactly there where the fingers touch. So th this triangle of these three pivot points is similar to the shape of the uh, leg pieces. It just so happens in this case that this is a, a right triangle so that this uh, lookup table is also a right triangle but it doesn't have to be as long as the two leg parts have the same shape and are isosceles with the same length as the, as the forearms. This is fairly easy to prove mathematically just by chasing the angles around the figure. That was Consul the Educated Monkey. Thank you for watching.